So hey guys, today I am putting some of the OEM uh, recovery hooks on. Uh, I found them on eBay used. Um, I've seen them ranging from 69 to 250 dollars for those things. 250 was for the chrome ones. But I've seen like used regular black ones for like 180 bucks. Um, I don't know why people think they're made of gold, but I got mine for I think actually actually it was like 64 shipped, so I think it was 59 is what I found mine for. The first ones I found, the cheapest I found was 69, and they were 74 shipped. Um, but uh, post office lost them, so. It was a blessing. It saved me 10 bucks, but it cost me like a month. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do, though, to do this is get your bumper off. Um, I've never taken my bumper cover off, but mine's trimmed. So I only had one, like, tech screw here, but there's a... Normally there's a bolt here, and there's a wheel liner, and there's push pins. And... Down below there's push pins and then right now I started taking the grill out then I realized I wasn't recording anything um, and but to get the grill out basically there's these let's see if I can get a shot for you well, I'll just show you but you got these little tabs right here and there's like four of them and you kind of just uh, pop them loose and you lift it forward and and then you lift those tabs right there out now mine I've got uh, zip ties so I'll cut those I imagine those are actually push pins from the factory or something um, or there's nothing there at all I'm starting to think because I don't even see any witness marks like there used to be a push tab so maybe whoever owned this before might have put those on for insurance but um let me get those cut loose and I'll bring you back so I I cut those two zip ties that were there and the bumper just actually basically fell down so um, but this is where the hooks will go and I'm not gonna paint over that this truck's been hit um, before but I kind of knew that looking at the headlight bracket mount up above here it was cracked. There were some other signs when I was trimming my fenders and stuff under there, making more room for that tire. Um, I knew this had been hit, but uh, hopefully that won't cause us any issues putting the hooks in. And um, so let's open these hooks up and see what we got. All right, so. Let's get into these. So this is what I got. I'm not gonna paint them. Um, paint's just gonna chip and it'll look like crap afterwards. I think it would look good if I never actually used them, but I literally could have used these last time I went out and uh, I didn't have them. Thank you, Postal Service. But, um, so, yeah, I'm not gonna paint these and um, I will, uh, 
Let's see, let's get a different shot here. All right, so we got these plates here, and they only go in one way. I notice on the passenger side you get a triangle, and on the driver's side you get a square right there. And those go to the back, I believe. These things only go in one way. So, let's see. And there's like, there's these square holes um, right here. There's one in the back corner that those things uh, fall into. And so this here is going to bolt up. So we got this in place. And this is going to go right. I'm trying to do this and film at the same time. So those are going to go there. And then you got this one, this third one out hanging out here. And I'm a little disappointed because this guy said he's going to send me all the hardware. But there's supposed to be one of those... I don't know what you call them. Um, actually, it slips in here. It's like a it's a captured nut on the back of a, a J. I call them J clips, but um, it's a captured threaded area that would slide over this, and then it's captured, can't rotate, and then that third leg would go through there. So I'm gonna have to run to the hardware store and see if they got some J clips for that hole. All right, so I needed a couple of these. I went to Napa. And got them. This one is uh, actually 3 8 by 16, so it's just a tiny bit smaller than, and it's Imperial, but that's all they had. And I'm putting it in right now. It went in like that. Here's what it looks like without it. Let's see. Yeah, that's the other side. So I'm just tightening that up now. Those other two went in. I don't know if you can hear all the horns honking, but that's the Trump train rolling through my neighborhood.